Heads or tails, right? Let's get it, Destiny! Let's get it! You didn't expect to come over here and win something. Besides December 25th, Christmas is also celebrated on this day as well. A, January 7th. We don't personally celebrate Christmas, but we're here to educate Christians about their own holiday they might not even know about. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry about so that. You beat me in, in, in Rock, Paper, Scissors, you win. One round! One round! Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here with a Christmas special edition of Dawa. We are going to be quizzing strangers about five questions about Christmas. And if they're able to get these five questions about Christmas correct, they win a coveted hot Christmas item, a gift item called a Nintendo Switch. Remember guys, 3,000 thumbs up tells me that you enjoyed this video and uh, you want me to continue to do cool videos like this. Now without further ado, let's go out there and give some Dawa. Excuse me, would you guys like to win a chance? to win a free Nintendo Switch? It's from my YouTube channel, yeah? You have to answer a quiz. Five questions. If y'all can answer it correctly, it's yours. Five questions, five questions, okay? All the questions are gonna be about Christmas. First of all, we're gonna ask you the most important questions first, okay? First question is, what is your name? My name is Lisa. Devin. 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 Antonio. Mike. Raya. Raya. Lulu. Lulu, okay. Destiny. Riley. Anthony. Desmond. Lewis. Justin. My name is Desmond. Desmond? That's a nice name, Desmond. He's cool though. You can tell he's right. All right. Ready? Here's the first question. First question is the following. Y'all ready? Facts. Traditionally, why is Christmas celebrated? Wait for the answers. Okay? There's choices. Multiple choice. Traditionally, why is Christmas celebrated? Here are the choices. Ready? A. It's the day Santa brings you gifts. B. It's the day Moses was supposedly born. Is it because of C? It's the day Jesus was supposedly born? Or is it because of D? It's just a day to have fun. Destiny, go ahead. What is your answer? C. C? What do you think your answer is? C. C. C? 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 My answer is the Jesus one. Jesus one, that's a C? Okay. B. B? C. C? C? Yeah. C. I'm going with D. It's just a day to have fun. Day to have fun. Okay. Go ahead. Moses. Moses. So you're saying B, Moses. Moses, what are you saying? B. B, Moses as well, too? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with D, too. You're going to go with D yeah. as well, too? D to have fun? Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, some real ones right over here. Bro, let me hold this for a second, man. I'm sorry, bro. You're eliminated right now. Nah. Um, unfortunately, that is not the correct answer, guys. It's the it's C. It's C. It's the day that Jesus was supposedly born. Right. I, I thought it was what a trick question. What was it? They got the correct answer. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hold on to that. My man's got it wrong. No. 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 C. Yeah, just see. See? Uh, Jesus? Jesus? Yeah? Okay? The answer is correct. See? What do y'all think? See? C is the answer, guys. Invest me right now and I'll let you go to the second question, okay? Give me a good answer and I'll give I'm you. I'm assuming in, in, in like, put this next there. No, 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 put the thing yeah, I'm assuming there. We learned when I was like in grade school that he was born like, like in like the spring. And I'm thinking to myself that like the seasons are the same, aren't, aren't the same. So like this, like when we would like here, December would be cold, but over there it must not be. That was my thinking. Okay, so you're saying that it's a date have so so that, that, that over there it, it would be it wouldn't be it, it would it wouldn't it can't have been December because because the seasons are different and he was born in the spring. Okay, so you believe that's he was born was in the spring. Yeah. So because of that, you feel like he that that didn't make sense. So that's the reason you're going there. Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do here's what I'm gonna do because you have some knowledge about this and you have some sort of you're going in the right direction I'm a I'm a I'm a allow that question to move on to the second question okay, okay? I'm right. gonna allow you guys to move on for both of you okay. how you like the outfit right now right you like the outfit Nice babe, not babe. Uh, can I ask you guys, how do you like like the pants and the jeans and stuff like that? What do you I like it. I like it. It's you drippy. Yeah. Yeah. So this is. Thank you. I appreciate that. So this is the company that's sponsoring me right now. They're called Sindeed. They sponsor me with this, and they got me some really really cool pants as well too. They make other stuff as well for for women and for men. But this is my sponsor, and they're the ones who sponsor me, making my whole outfit look hot. So if you guys like the outfit, it's because of Sindeed, and you guys should check them out. Second question coming up right now. How y'all feeling so far? Good. Saying, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You saying he ain't gonna win? He calling you out, bro. Antonio's like, my man's not winning. How y'all feeling so far? I'm feeling good. Feeling good, Riley? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Second question is this. Besides December 25th, Christmas is also celebrated on this day as well. A, January 7th. B, April 4th. C, May 9th. D, 
June 20th. If you have an answer, hold on to your answer. Have your answer, you hold on to your answer. So real quick, real quick. Uh -huh. What do you think the answer is? Go ahead, tell us. What do you think the answer is? Put it in the mic. Oh, oh. January you're saying, you're saying I'm saying D. I'm saying D. Okay, January 7th. What are you saying? A, January 7th, you said A. A, January 7th. Why are you leaning towards that? Why are you leaning towards D? I don't even know. I'm just guessing. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking January 7th. Okay. okay. All right. No, yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to say the same thing. January 7th. It's just close enough. It's close enough? <laughs> it, th that's a very good test-taking strategy, right? You're like, it's close enough to December, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I'm going to go with C. C, May 9th. All right. My bro, Antonio, what do you think? Hey, I just tricked him. I told him to say Z, but it's, it's A. <laughs> it's A, bro. <laughs> It's the one and only Digo Double G. June 20th, I think. Okay, that's your answer? What is your answer? January. January 7th? Yes. Okay. Final answer? Um, I'm going to go with that. Yeah? What about you? Yeah. Final answer? Okay. My bro, I'm sorry to tell you this. You are a op, bro. <laughs> That is going back to you over here. Unfortunately, my friend. Unfortunately, unfortunately, May 9th was not the answer. Do you, does anyone know what May 9th is? Does anyone know? It's a famous day. Anyone? It ain't taking a mile. It's Mother's Day. Correct. The correct answer is not D. So I'm sorry about that. At least I'm gonna take that from you real quick. I'm sorry, okay? D, J June 20th is actually Father's Day. Okay, just so you know, okay? You played a very, very good game. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry you did not win. I'm so sorry about that, okay? I'm gonna take that away from you. Give that back over here for a second. June 20th is actually Father's Day. That's the day I picked you, okay? April, April 4th is Easter. And January 7th is the second Christmas that people Let's get it, Destiny! Let's get it! Okay! January 7th is the day that Christmas is being celebrated by the right. Eastern right. Orthodox. You guys are Let's three questions go. away from winning these switches. All right? Bet. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. He said, he said it's January 7th. And that is the correct answer. January 7th is correct. Let's go. Let's get it. Antonio still in there. And January 7th is the second Christmas. So That's you got it correct. Let's get it. Yeah. So in the ancient, in, in Eastern Orthodox Christianity, the second time or the way they celebrate Christmas is on January 7th. Now, in the Eastern Orthodox Christianity, right, which is still uh, taking place in countries like Egypt, Ukraine, mm -hmm. Greece, mm -hmm. um, uh, and Russia, they basically celebrate it on the 7th of January. Right. It is a popular tradition to celebrate it, which commonly is the 25th of December, mm -hmm. but January 7th is also the correct answer. Right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Third question. Now commonly used as a romantic tool. The mistletoe was originally hung outside of people's houses for what reason? A. To decorate the house. B. To let people know that you're single. C. An amulet to protect you from winter. D. So Batman can join you for Christmas dinner. Surprise. I know Lewis is leaning towards Batman, but you know, you never know. And then he's going to justify why Batman was the correct answer. And I'm going to just eat it. I'm going to just take it. Like, whatever. I mean, if I could justify it. No, 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 no. All right, Batman, Batman. What do you, what do you think? What do you think? I have to go with B. B? To let people know that you're single? Yeah, no, yeah, know what the mistletoe is, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. To let people know you're single? Could you put it next to your mic? Yeah, I, I think it's B. B? Think final answer is B? I think. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay. I what do you see? <laughs> I mean, sorry. Yes, yeah, C, C, C. Amulet. Yeah. Okay, okay. That, that's what Lewis said. Let's go to Justin up here. What do you think, Justin? I think it was to uh, the symbol of uh, being single. Being single. Yeah. Okay, so we now officially have two different answers. Yeah. Okay, there's an official answer. So one of y'all are walking away with it. <laughs> one of y'all are not. Okay, because I'm here to let you know. I'm here to let you. Oh yeah, brothers. Uh, you no. know oh, you share. He's like, yeah, I'm, just, <laughs> yeah. I'm born on Mondays. You born on every <laughs> yeah, other uh, yeah, every I'm other like Sunday. All right, like cool. Uh, I want to let you know. I want to let you know. Out of you both, one of you has the correct answer. Okay. It's probably him. I know you're not gonna help. All the real ones out there, please, please, please support us via Patreon. We're trying to take this dour trip with the Shabab, the youth, all the way to downtown Toronto, but we need your help. We can't do this without you. So please, Patreons, there's three levels of tiers out there to be a Dawa investor. Do whatever you can do to invest. Or if you're just a real one and you just want to pay one dollar because you're a real one out there, join that as well too. Whatever you guys can give, we appreciate and it's going to a good cause. It's helping supporting the Dawa guys. We need your help. Please join the patreon love you all for the sake of allah now let's get back to the video my man guys listen to me my man antonio's on fire but that is not the correct answer i'm so sorry i'm so sorry what is, what is? What i'm is? so sorry take that back is? that is not the correct answer the correct answer is an amulet to protect you from the winter 
Unfortunately, that's me. I'm sorry. That is not the correct answer. The correct answer is C. An oh, well. amulet to protect you from winter. Unfortunately, Justin, uh, it is a little too oh, late for you. I'm so sorry about so that. However, however, my man Lewis did get it correct. Right. Let's go. No, you have to two questions left. He's just getting hyped. But we're up to two questions left. An amulet to protect uh, amulet you from the winter. Like winter. Uh, uh, see? Who's why? Not, why is because why is it being used to show that you're single? I don't think anybody was worried about exactly. that back why then. Would any, why would it change from showing you're single to now all of a sudden everybody's kissing under it? You know. So I kind of think that it was just yeah. an amulet, yeah. Because then it became something else. Yeah. yeah. Then it became as like someone, opposite. yeah, yeah. to yeah. kiss. To yeah. kiss. It wasn't like. That. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, ladies, you are absolutely correct. It is an amulet to protect you from <laughs> winter. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. You got two questions. You got two questions away from winning these Nintendo Switches. Two questions. Two questions. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, the mistletoe originally, along with the evergreen pine tree, was all designed during the time of the winter solstice. At the time of the people, right, who were nature worshippers, pagan nature worshippers, they were in the north. And in the north, it would get very, very cold. And because of the solstice and how the sun, they would have like weeks on end of just uh, darkness, right? They attributed, because they would worship the sun and fire and energy and things of that nature. So what they would do is that they would cut the things. There were two things that would never die during these long winters. The evergreen tree, which is the pine tree that we put the Christmas, and the mistletoe. So what they would do is they believed that it was some type of negative energy. So they would have these items in their house because it's a sign of, uh, of energy, life, and fertility. Okay? And they use it as an amulet to ward off evil spirits in a long winter. Thank you guys so much for praying. We're not going to leave you empty-handed. We got some candy for you guys, okay? All right, we got some candy for you, all right? We got some candy up in here. Let's get you with the candy. And of course, of course, of course, right? The reason we're doing this is to just educate people about educate people about Christmas, obviously. And more importantly, we also wanted to give out some Qurans to let you guys know that we're Muslims. And we believe in Jesus as well, too. That's why we're educating about it. Guys, if you don't mind, it's just to uh, people get educated. Just so they're educated, honestly. We well, appreciate it. I appreciate it. Here you go, sister. You go for that and just right over here yeah and that's literally why we're doing it all right guys hope you guys learned something yes you learned something respect respect guys we're out over here giving out these free Qur'ans guys however they're not free to publish it takes only two dollars to publish one Qur'an help sponsor someone's Akhirah by please 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 donating two dollars if you would like to donate a whole box of 50 plus Qur'ans is only a hundred dollars whatever you guys can do it's going to a good cause we're out over here giving that we're actually running out of Qur'ans right now too so please 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 uh, swipe up hit the link in the description do whatever you guys got to do but sponsor this Qur'an as well too now let's get back to this video okay this is it, question number four. Okay. Which country's Christian church banned Christmas up until the year 1647 for being a pagan holiday? Okay, first, America. B, New York. C, England. D, Greece. England. You wanna go for England? I'm gonna go with uh, Greece. Okay. I believe, I believe that is the answer. Greece is the answer? Okay, Justin, do you feel confident about Greece? So it's between which two countries right now? Right. Greece, 16, you said what? 1647. They banned it until 1647. Banned it until 1647. Greece would have been under Turkish rule then. That's Ottoman Muslim rule. Wow. No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm, 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 I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's one of those questions where it's like... The, the least obvious one is like, damn, it could be that one. It could be the one that you might not think, but it could also be the most obvious one. That's tough. I don't know. You're saying? England. England. Okay, that's your choice. Yours is uh, completely respected. I don't really know. Just pick one, bro. We, come on. You're like, it's too cold. Yeah. Go no, it's not. Okay, okay. You only get these opportunities once, so think about it. You know what I mean? Is there a reason why you picked England? I don't want to say why specifically because it's gonna throw her off. So I'm gonna okay, okay, okay. Here. So don't do that. We'll say that at the end. Or it could have been England. I don't know. Protestants. Yeah. Could be. That's true. That's true. England had a big control over there. 1647. That was way after the schism and everything. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna just go Greece. Hopefully. No way. I'm wrong. Hold on. I'm <laughs> She's not Greece. Just Greece. Just Greece. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna let you lock in your answer. I'm gonna let you lock it in. Oh this is for Nintendo Switch. I mean, come on. I'm gonna go with. Uh, 
Oh man, wow. honestly, honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> bro, honestly. Listen, man, you played a really, really good game. Y'all played a seriously, seriously, y'all played a really good game. Can we hear the last question? Yeah, 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 I, I got you, I got you. Uh, but you know what, man, sometimes you just get the answer correct. That was the correct answer. It is England! It is England! You're one question away! One question away! One question away from winning the Switch. Okay, I'm gonna just go with Greece. Yes. Lulu, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, it's not the correct answer. Um, I'm sorry as well, too. This was. That is the correct answer. I'm playing with you right now. Let's go! Let's go! One question away. Lulu, you, paid. you had a really good. Listen, you had a really good round. Okay. Right. She had a good. Lisa had a good round, too. Okay, listen, how'd you know it was England or how'd you guess that? Because you said country. New York is not a country. Good, uh, good job. Okay, let's go. Now. The next question is actually going to be very, very similar to what we discussed in the beginning, okay? However, I want to mention something about this, okay? Um, it was England who banned it because they saw the type of debauchery that used to take place on Christmas. The drinking, the, 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 the sexual yeah, stuff, yeah. the partying. So they thought that it was bad for society. So they banned it until 1647. Yeah. And after 1647, they realized there's no point. Yeah. It was like pro prohibition, like, you know, for in America. Same thing with Halloween. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They did. They banned certain things, but England lifted the ban, but they were the country that banned it originally. Fifth question. It's cold. Let's make this happen. Okay. According to historians, Jesus was most likely born in which month? A. January through March. B. April through June. C. July to September. D. October to December. And October to December. Remember, October to December are cold Not months. April. April. April to June? Yeah. Why are you leaning towards that one? Because I remember when I go to the Kingdom Hall, that's around the time we, we, sh we, um, uh, we cut bread and stuff like that mm -hmm. and worship him around that time. Okay. I, I believe. I feel like B is a safe bet, but I'm still no, just... You were wrong last time. I, you were wrong last time. No, he helped you with England. Uh-huh. You're right. He yeah. helped you with England. <laughs> okay. He did help you with England. All right, but I don't know. I don't know still. That's so tough. You know what? I'm just going to... Go ahead, go ahead. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it next to your mouth. Next to your mouth. Um, just what we answer, Tails. Tails. Tails is what? Tails is B. Tails is B? My answer. Okay. I wish I had a coin. Okay. Wait, does anyone have a coin? Do you have a coin? I don't have any it's, coin. It's an age of, of digital currency. Right. I'm, like, I'm like, you know what? I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that would have been a great, great way to settle this, actually. Yeah. This might actually be a very nice way to settle. Excuse me, does anyone have a coin? Like a quarter, a coin, a penny, something? Wait, I have one. Never mind. Yep. Okay. You said, you said, what was okay. We said. Uh, I said. Tails. I have a Canadian tails coin. I have a Canadian coin. Okay. Bet. Bet. Sorry, bet. Sorry, Canadian. Okay. Right. So we have tails over here. We have a little maple leaf, and we have the heads of Queen Elizabeth. Right. right. Heads is B. Tails heads is B. All right. Tails is C. We're putting yeah. it okay. on the queen. All okay. Yep. Let's go. Toss it up. Okay. It's gonna fall. Okay. Let's go. It's the leaf. It's the leaf. So wait, wait, wait. You're saying you're saying C. It's C. That's it's C. It. it said it, not me. Should, if, I feel like it should have been the queen. I feel like it should have been the queen. So it should have been her majesty. Against the word of chance. <laughs> <laughs> against against the flip. I'm going. I'm going. I hey, either way you win. You know why? Because you didn't expect to have it. <laughs> technically, you don't have it. You're just holding it. So technically, whether you win it or not, you didn't lose anything. That's right. Right? Because That's you right. woke up today without one. And you could walk home without one, right? Or you could walk it. Here we go. We came from Clay. Come on now, right? right. So he's saying, he's saying to go, he's going against them. I am looking fate in the eyes and spitting in his face and saying it should have been B. You're exaggerating. That's true. What is this? So it's almost reverse psychology. It could be. It could be. It could be. But he could have also anticipated that and then, you know. Hey, he had England. He had England. The same. That's true. But he also got the answer wrong before yeah. that. There we go. There's a lot of perspectives here, friend. You're gonna lock it in? Listen. Yeah, yeah, seeing something. Yo, you literally, you made it that far. We really do appreciate you. Honestly. Um, the answer was, you actually just won the uh, Nintendo Switch. You just won the Nintendo Switch! Let's go! You just won the Nintendo Switch! You just dropped everything. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll pick that up. We'll pick this up. Don't worry about that. I really wish you would have listened. Just the answer is B. 
I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. Honestly, any other time I'd let you win this, but I tried. I really did try. I honestly did. And people watching at home, you saw. I really tried to give them an answer. He's like, you're weighing him too much. You see? He's like, you're giving him too much. I'm trying to help him win. But I'm like, but I, no, no, no. I do want you to win, right? I do want you to win. Listen, unfortunately, it's not the correct answer. How about this, though? You, you, you bet against fate, right? Let's do a coin flip right now. If you get the coin flip correct, it's yours. Yeah? Where is the coin? <laughs> well, you know, the what? Point? you know what? Right? Yeah. Coin right. flip is yours, okay? Really, really you got it wrong. You got it wrong. I'm really going to give you a chance to make you believe that I wanted you to win right. this, okay? I have a quarter. I have Mr. Uh, yeah, bro, it's brand new. Okay, I have a heads over here, and we have a tails as well. You have to call it. Heads or tails? Which ones? Which one wins? Heads wins it for you, okay? Heads wins it for us. Huh? You can see it? It's about to die? Okay, heads or tails, right? Is that tails? Oh, I'm sorry, tails! You did not win! You did not win! <laughs> Alright, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. You beat me in, in, in rock, paper, scissors, you win. One round! One round! So hear me out, okay? At the time, he mentioned that the shepherds were out with their sheep, with their flock, okay? That can only happen during the time of the summer or warmer weather. Second thing, in the Holy Quran, which is the Muslim Holy Scripture, and Muslims believe in Jesus, obviously, and the virgin birth, the time that she was giving her birth, she was under a date palm tree, and the dates were released from the tree, which is only between April through June. So it is historical fact that Jesus was more than likely born between April and June, not December. I remember it because I go with my grandparents to the Kingdom Hall and then they cut the bread and we share um, the red wine, which is not really wine, but you know, we pass that around and worship him around that time. So that's how, why I know, because it's like so important for us to go to church and stuff like that. It's like really a really big event. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Rock, paper, says, says, shoot. Let's go, my God! I keep beating him! I keep beating it! I'm sorry, my bro. It is not meant to be. It is not meant to be. It is not meant to be. It is not. I've tried so hard. I've tried so hard. Let me give you two examples. Let me give you two. In Luke, Luke mentions in the nativity sign of how there were shepherds out there uh, with their sheep uh, flock grazing. That can only happen in the springish time, that warmer season, okay? In the second uh, testament which is overlooked and should be used as a resource by Christian in my humble opinion which is the Quran and in the Quran there's a chapter called Mary okay it's after the Virgin Mary the uh, Jesus's uh, mom and uh, Jesus's name in Islam and Arabic is Isa okay peace and blessings be upon him okay when the Virgin Mary was about to give birth she went under in seclusion under a date palm tree and during that time God has one of the miracles to feed her release dates from the tree and the dates can only be released during the times of April to June because that's the time that uh, things come so we have two pieces of information to show you that he was born somewhere around right. April I'm not gonna leave you empty-handed I have some candy for you guys I know it's not a lot but some candy right let's give him some candy and stuff like that and I have one more surprise for you guys give him some candy okay here's a Quran for you sir here's one for you as well too Honestly, honestly, that's the number one thing. So we're out over here educating people, strangers in general, about Christmas. So we don't personally celebrate Christmas, but we're here to educate Christians about their own holiday. They might not even know about themselves, okay? So here we go. Here's some Qurans. Here's one. It's an English copy over here. It's an English copy. I'll give you one as well, too. You have more? Okay, it's an English copy. Here you go. Actually, my mom has that. No way. Well, I one, too. There you go. Boys, listen, I appreciate y'all. Respect, 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 respect. Guys, we came out here, gave some dawah, educated strangers about Christmas, and that was our goal. We ran out of Quran, so we stopped the social experiment. But you guys can help us with more Qurans. It's only $2 to sponsor one free Quran, so we can give it, and you can sponsor someone's Akhirah, or it's a box of 50 plus Qurans for only $100. Either way, guys, we came out here, gave some dawah, educated people. Remember, the like goal is 3,000 thumbs ups. Tells me that you want some more videos like this, but I think the light's about to change. Either way, guys, we gotta go out of here, and until next time, we're out of here. Salam